Ayo, what's good guys? It's your favorite YouTuber. In this video, we're going to become headless in Roblox Bedwars. Watch till the end for some insane stuff. Also sub in the next 4.69 seconds. And you will win the next 13.69 matches. Let's get started. As y'all can see, for a price of 31,000 Robux, we have officially lost our head. Now, Engel, it was a pretty brainless decision, but we got content out of it. Boy! Whoa, hold on a second. This dude looks kind of familiar. It's like I've seen him somewhere. But anyways, before we test, how pay to win headless is in bedwars. We gotta get our bread up. Speaking of getting loot, we could just go for our target, except we have to block. And bro is asleep at his base arn. 2v1 already sim. Angle I'm train get my EMS and head out. We gotta play it out somehow, with no blocks. Sheesh we low key chilling now. But we won emerald short of getting anything good. Mans is keeping guard sim. We gotta make a run for it. Sick, that's one down. And one more just got here. Luckily, it's our target. I'm telling you guys this the headless luck. Low-key paying off already. And we almost doubled our loot with him. All right now before he back for revenge. We should head back instead. Just how y'all should back that sub button. Huh? I heard it gives you crazy luck for the next to point one matches. Boy! Let's get us some armor arc. But first we gotta get a crossbow. It's pretty important this match angle. He'll explain why in a minute. Let's get our gear arc. Alright wonderful. Now notice how when we have a helmet on, it gives us a head or a hitbox for headshots. When the helmet's off you can't see it anymore. But does that mean we headshot proof from being sniped? The only way we finding out is by being sniped. And the only way we getting snipers is by sniping players first, which usually gets them mad enough to get revenge, making them want to snipe us back. It's a whole triangle. We gotta find us potential snipers though. Mid's the best place for recruiting snipers. Uh, just not right now. I guess the game recruited for us. We'll turn our target into a sniper. Alright, hopefully this should work. But first we gotta snipe them enough for them to want to snipe us back. Where does bro think he going? I mean he could go out. All he has to do is snipe us. About time, that should get him a bow. See what I mean? But he gotta get headshots. And we out of arrows to now. Ayo hey, oh, chill. We gotta upgrade arc. We getting sniped now. Not in the way we want though. A few more blocks away. Hopefully we don't get knocked off. Just a little more distance. And we got spider traps to here. Let's get us our arrows back. And a dim sword arc. So we don't have to head back like this again. Look at that. We got a headless sword to match our head. Hey, oh, our plan worked a little too good. 
They coming all the way here for revenge. That too with no armor. So you know they not messing around. But it's time we made the rest of them get bows too. We not getting sniped enough to test headless. Bro a build fighter. We gotta trick shot him low key. Sheesh that mid air was clean. Which one's the sniper dude again? We gotta find out. Maybe if we stood still we could test it. No way! Did we dodge that headshot? Comment down below. The angle was kinda straight. We gotta try getting a better angle. Sim that was a little too low. That too. Man's gotta aim a little higher. What was bro expecting? With the zero gear combo. Mans is abandoning his team sim. We'll get revenge for them. Ayo chill. This feel like that one duck game. The one with the moving ducks. Comment if you know what I'm talking about. But let's get a little closer to the sniper. Close enough where he can't use his sword. Little to be one. I mean 3v1. Matter fact they doing a little too much damage. And we out of arrows again. We gotta heal arc. Imagine the snipe goes through our headless arm. Close enough. Let's get us some armor. We need some more blocks as well. Alright we set. Let's max this crossbow though. Mans came all the way here for revenge. Now my avatar doesn't have a brain arm, but building high close to a sniper may be more brainless. You need to leave. We'll get us some new targets this time. A bridge crosser? My aim asleep are in sim. Let's get a closer view of this bridge crosser. I've always wanted to see one up close. Whoa, my hand slipped. I meant to walk forward Sim, but it made me aim at him and shoot. Since when we get a helmet again, that had to be it. The timing was insane. There's literally a 0.001% chance we got that on vid. Or we just forgot to press record on. But if y'all are seeing it, this match was recorded. Are you serious, my brother? Man stands no chance. Now our headless luck may be asleep, but our aim is not. Uh, never mind they having a sleepover. I guess not anymore. Alright guys, here's the game plan. So blue has been spammed enough. It's time we got some beds. But first we need some loot sim. That should be good enough. I guess we getting our health up too. Plus with the asleep headless luck, we not dying for a while. Speaking of dying, someone's bed is about to die. Sim, he not doing any headshots. Maybe here. Ayo, how'd bro get a dim sword? This the same dude who had no gear. 
Alright, let's get us a nice target. We could get this bed. Except there's no bed here. I guess we listening to the game and getting green. About time the shots worked. Let's get some telepearls and go green. We need some breaking tools as well. An axe should be enough, I think. Also ick, this is early, but the sky pretty cool. Our bed getting raided to Arn. It's an eye for eye with green, I guess. Why is there so many random gaps? Getting out of here harder than getting in. If only bro used this effort on all sides of the bed. He has traps, I don't know where though. There they are. What is bro so stacked for? I barely seen him all game. And he out here mad stacked.